Ohio's Attorney General is suing a Sharonville window company for leaving close to 100 families out of thousands of dollars. Local 12's Cassie Arsenault is here tonight after speaking with one of those families. Cassie. Paula, a mother and son who ordered separately both went through the headache of this mess. They waited more than 10 months for their windows to arrive. Now, Ohio's Attorney General is seeking nearly $200,000 in restitution from Window Planet. It's not okay. You just can't come in people's house and take their money and not deliver on their goods. Frustration boiled over for months as Patty Corral waited for her six windows to come in. Despite the $1,300 deposit she handed over to Window Planet, those windows never arrived. People that have families, young families, you seriously sent people into their house, saw that they had kids, and you had no problem taking their deposit with no intention of doing windows. Patty is largely talking about her son, Joey, who ordered seven windows from Window Planet as well. At the time, they had a son on the way. It lets a lot of sound in, a lot of cold or hot air when you don't want it. Yeah. Um, and with us having a child on the way, this kind of needed to be a pretty well temperatured room. Joey ordered his windows in January of 2021. And by October, he still didn't have them. In fact, the manufacturer of the windows said they did receive the order, but they refused to fill it because the owner of Window Planet, Tara Curlis, had not been paying up. The company kept acting like they were doing us this big favor and like they were going to take care of us. And, oh, you've got a newborn on the way. We're like, we'll, we'll get this order in right away, get your windows kind of expedited, um, get you a good price on them. And that was pretty much all facade. In Joey's case, he paid his deposit in cash. So he's waiting on the lawsuit to see if he will ever see that money again. Not only am I out this money, I then the prices of windows had gone up since that original order. And whether Window Planet will face the consequences for all the stress they've caused 87 other families, that's to be determined. Window Planet is closed and there's no date in court on the books. And the attorney general's office says there won't be until Tara Curlis is arrested. It's just sad, you know, that you can see people with their struggling and working hard and you're taking their money and just doing yeah. whatever you're doing with it. Window Planet is closed. Their number is disconnected. However, I did reach out to Curlis on all of her social media platforms. Unfortunately, haven't heard back yet. Paula. Awful, thank you. Well, Yoast is asking the court to fine Curlis and Window Planet up to $25,000 for each violation of the Consumer Sales Protection Act. He is also asking the court to order the company to pay all damages to the affected families.